Welcome back to another day of Food for the Soul. Today, I will be doing my take and my version of fried gizzards. And when I say my recipe is truly good, it is truly good. But I'm going to take care of this food part all day long. But first, I got to touch on the soul part. And uh, Bible verse to feed the soul will be at the bottom of the description because you also got to feed the soul too. But please give this video a thumbs up. So if you like it, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and hit that bell for so you can get a notifications on every time I post my videos. And we've been away some good old cooking, baby. Some good old cooking. Booyah, baby. All right, the first thing that we do is I take these bad gizzards right here, take them out pack like this, and I separate them. And you gotta wash your gizzards when you get your gizzards. You don't wanna get them out the pack and just start seasoning your gizzards, man. You just gotta do a bam. See, all right, my gizzards are washed and clean. And next I do is I put my seasonings and stuff in it. And what I do is I add some mushroom sauce to it. Uh, mustard to it season salt and the measurements would not be in the description because it's only by taste but I will have what I use in the description uh, black pepper and some onion powder Mix this up. All right, so next I got my egg wash right here. About to add some milk to my egg. Uh, cayenne pepper, you mix it up, and get your gizzards, and you pour this inside your batter. Mix it up and let this sit for 45 minutes. Seasoned flour right here. And plus good old cornstarch. And you don't need to add uh, no seasoning uh, to your flour because it's already seasoned flour. So if you don't have any seasoned flour, uh, use uh, salt, pepper, uh, cayenne pepper, and onion powder, and that'd be just perfect for it. All right, uh, 45 minutes have passed. So I got my gizzards. About to pour them in my, uh, my flour and uh, uh, cornstarch uh, mixture.
Ooh, this bad boy looks so good. All right, we're gonna put them in a rack so they can drain. So I don't use uh, paper towels because paper towels is gonna make them uh, make this batter more uh, more sticky. Alright, get finished frying these bad boys up. Get finished frying these up and be back with the finished product. Okay, my gizzards, they are done. And when I say these things taste good, I'm like Tony the Tiger. These things here taste great. I'm about to do my little setup right here. And then the best thing too about gizzards is if you're on a budget, and you like gizzards, a big pack of this right here is only $1.99. That's it. So like, with taxes, I say like $2.14, and some say it's like $2.17. And you have all these gizzards right here. And, I also got some uh, Chick-fil-A sauce with it. And the Chick-fil-A sauce is so good with this. Hey, you don't you don't gotta believe me. You gotta try this Chick-fil-A sauce with these gizzards and my recipe. It's gonna knock you off your feet, baby. Mm. And there you go, fried gizzards. Man, my recipe is so good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. If you taste this, you're gonna wanna slap somebody. I don't care who you slap, but you're gonna wanna slap somebody because it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, leave me a comment, and see you next time on Food for the Soul, baby. Woo!